Hey, what's going on guys? So first video back from Nationals. Uh, I'm just overly pleased with how things went. So I wanna give a little bit of a recap of how things went and then uh, just break down a few other things. What's going on up ahead? When's the next competition? Uh, what are my thoughts? How did the prep go? All that kind of stuff. So first TSA had, uh, well, over 40 athletes this time competing. Um, whether they were athletes that we coached or athletes from other coaching companies who um, we handled, we're just really pleased with the way that everyone performed. Uh, it was just really awesome to see all of the awesome performances, the PRs. Um, we helped a few athletes to wins in different uh, divisions. And uh, Chrissy Paraki ended up winning the open kilo, open class in the 57 kilo uh, division. She's been working on this for a long time, working with Eric, so we're really proud of her. Um, Joe was helping Rodrigo Manzo, who is the new 66 kilo national champion, so all of us are headed to Belarus next year. Um, for my own performance, I ended up squatting uh, 322 and a half kilos, or 711 pounds. That was my third attempt. Um, squats went about as well as I could have hoped. I think there was even some room on the third attempt for another two and a half kilos confidently and then five kilos would have been a reach but hey possible um bench press i ended up missing my third attempt i think we just took too big of a jump from first to second attempt and ended up shooting myself in the foot uh with that i was a little bit distracted to be honest i was kind of i heard my dad in the audience and i was just thinking about the fact that he would want to see a 500 pound bench press he's been talking to me about that for a while and so my mind wasn't really where it should be but anyways, um, probably could have been good with uh, a five kilo or a seven and a half kilo jump up for my second attempt. I did end up pressing my second attempt, which is 220 kilos, 485 pounds. Uh, and then deadlifts, we started off at 340, uh, which is 750 pounds, took a 20 kilo jump up to 360, 795 pounds, that felt really good. And then went up from there to 370, 800 and 8, 11, maybe, something like that. And uh, just missed it at lockout. This callus uh, ended up tearing kind of right at the top. I could feel that my grip was slipping and just kind of tried to hold on before I got the down command. But as it is, I'm extremely happy with the way things went, uh, being that I pulled out the, the win. Uh, Ash ended up dropping his last deadlift. Uh, and you know I know he wasn't too upset or too happy about that. Um, but that ended up meaning that I won and Ashton got bumped down to third because Michael Davis had a really good day. So it's uh, it was awesome to compete with those guys. I mean, nerve wracking a little bit, but awesome as well. They are extremely strong um, and it's just an awesome experience to share the platform with them. Throughout this whole prep, I've basically kind of had to curate my social habits to make sure that I avoid comparison uh, with them and just kind of stay in my lane. So I've not been following them on social media. I didn't want to see their lifts. I didn't want to talk about them. You know, great guys for sure, but comparison is really the enemy for me in a lot of ways, for a lot of athletes too, but just speaking from personal experience, uh, I tend to think a lot worse of my efforts uh, if I'm constantly looking at what my peers are doing, you know, even 93 kilo athletes, it can be difficult for me to take a look at what they're doing and say, oh, you know, what I'm doing has value. You know, my numbers are, are good and stuff. So I've, I've kind of kept blinders on to a lot of that stuff and just tried to walk my own walk, race my own race and just show up and, you know, post competition, I can be great friends with them pre competition. I really just need to kind of focus in and just, uh, focusing on myself. So that's one thing I ended up doing, um, unfollowing them on social media, uh, not talking about their lifts, just staying very much about me, my own training and stuff like that. So I didn't post it on, uh, on my training the last few weeks leading into competition, but I had some really, really good weeks. I ended up squatting uh, a 315 kilo single lightning fast. I was really happy with the way that moved. And I ended up deadlifting that 360 kilos um, that I hit on the second attempt, lightning fast also. So 
both of those kind of gave us a lot of wiggle room for attempts in competition. So yeah, I'm just really happy with, with the way things went competition wise. And I get the opportunity now to go back to Worlds, which will be in Belarus next year in June. So that'll be my next competition. I'm going to take uh, a long time off competition, continue to get stronger. Um, you know what I mean? There will be heavy lifts in between now and then. In fact, there will be quite a lot of heavy lifts. Um, but that's the next time I think I'll be getting up on, on the platform. Unless, you know, I get some crazy invitation to the Sheffield or something like that. But really, I'd like to target Worlds. I think that'll be a good move. So, um, one of the thoughts was, depending on how placing went here, if I did not end up winning, then I actually wanted to consider dropping down a weight class slowly over time, keeping strength and just being competitive in the 93s for a little while. That didn't happen, but that's still kind of on the back burner for something that might happen in the future. Um, but for now, I'm going to stay right around 105 kilos, um, give or take a kilo, 104, 106, somewhere right in that range. Um, and just continue to progress. So training going forward, I would like a lot more variation. Uh, I wanna play around with some new lifts. I wanna do some um, deadlifts with chains. I wanna do some hyper extensions. I wanna keep in the pit shark. That's been a lot of fun. Um, keep in a lot of the accessory lifts that I've been doing. I think those really, really have helped my overall strength potential and top end. So yeah, it's just, it's been really good as far as the prep goes. Uh, what else? So one other thing that I'd like to add for these preps is as I aim to keep myself in between 104 and 106 kilos, um, I, I casually enjoy cooking a lot. And I have ever since I started bodybuilding and I discovered the Alton Brown um, <laughs> channel uh, and I was watching Good Eats on Food Network and just got obsessed with cooking and ended up learning a lot about cooking and about myself in the process. Um, so I will be sharing uh, recipes here on YouTube. I'll be sharing two a month um, and just kind of logging them on the RP app. But basically, um, I wanna share some of the ways that I made food taste better without really increasing calories, which anytime food tastes better, you increase dietary adherence, um, you, just enjoy the whole process of, uh, of prep a little bit more, you know. I, I don't want food, and I've never wanted food to just kind of be like a chore that you just have to do. Um, and so I've developed a lot of recipes and just kind of have a backlog of recipes that make food better and a lot of tips just about how to make things taste better um, with adding calories or without adding calories. Um, it sometimes surprises me how little modern day men and women spend cooking uh, or how much they know about cooking and I just kind of want to pass on what I know because I think I think I can help make food taste better and just make that whole process a little bit more enjoyable uh, make you more involved in what you're doing um, and it's almost therapeutic to be honest just making recipes and spending time in the kitchen with a podcast song in the background so um, that is in store uh, I'll start that as soon as I get in the kitchen and make a recipe so um, that's it for this. I'm just really pleased with the way things went. Um, I mean, I locked up a win and I'm a three-time national champion, which is pretty crazy to think about. Um, I do want that 2,000 pound total that was this close. Um, a third bench or a third deadlift would have done it. So I'm still hunting for that, which I hope I get at the next competition. But until then, keep my nose down, keep grinding, spend a little bit of time doing um, some different movements for a little bit of a break from competition specificity and uh, keep working hard. So thanks for joining guys. It meant a lot that you watched this last prep and I'll keep up these weekly vlogs as we head deep, deep, deep into the off season. Talk to you guys soon.